Hello, this is Intuitive Anna Priscilla, and today I thought I would do a video about all my pink decks. Um, I've been sort of fixated on pink lately. I got a little pink reading cloth, and I went and pulled all my pink reading decks out. So I have three oracle card decks here, and then three tarot decks, and then my Tea with Care and Tea Leaf cards as well. So what I wanted to do today was just to show you these decks and just to let you know in the next week or so I'll be using these decks in my readings. So the first deck is the Flower Therapy deck. You can see it has a beautiful back here. And then all of the cards are various photographs of various flowers. So it's a very beautiful feminine reading deck. Oracle deck, it has the name of the flower and then um, a little message about each flower. So this is actually out of print now. I know there's some bootleg copies that are being sold on the internet. This is an original um, Doreen Virtue deck. I know people have a lot of mixed feelings about her, but I have a lot of beautiful decks, vintage ones now that she created, and so I'm still going to use them. They're infused with my energy now. Then the, uh, the next deck is the Romance Angels deck, and this has beautiful kind of um, old-fashioned pictures on the cards. So... Whatever you think the message for me is, keep an open mind. If you have things that have been created that you love and you've used for years, your energy is in them, so keep using them. Again, these decks are all probably about $100 each now. They're vintage, they're original, but there are copies now available on the internet if you wanted to work with them. They're much smaller and not as nice. Now this is Radley Valentine. He's still around. He split with Dorian Virtue. This is his Angel Answers deck. This has some beautiful, beautiful artwork by a fa very famous, um, I think it's Belgian artist. Does a lot of work with spiritual and religious art. So this is kind of a uh, magic eight ball. It's like really short succinct answers but they're beautiful cards too the artwork's beautiful this is still in print it's uh, has radley valentine's name on it now only so you can you can get you can get all these three this one you can get in the original size and and uh quality these two well you'll have to pay for a chinese copy unless you want to spend 100 250 dollars on the deck now these are my pink tarot decks. The first one is the Marseille, Marshmallow Marseille Tarot. It's a very small deck. It is not technically all pink. The backs are lavender. There's a lot of beautiful pastel colors on the cards, and I love this for a Marseille deck. I didn't really gravitate to the really bright colors on a lot of the Marseille decks, but this one is just... Just beautiful, and it does have a lot of pink in it. So this would be the Re the Queen of Cups, the Ray de Coupe, which is the French. All the titles are in French since the Marseille deck was developed in France. So that's my Marshmallow Marseille, which is a very beautiful Marseille deck. It doesn't have the difference with the Rider Waite is it doesn't have the pips are not colored. It just has, has the suit symbols. This is another one that's out of print. It's the Guardian Angel tarot cards. Again, it's a Doreen Virtue Radley Valentine. I'm not sure if you can still get this with just his name on it. But these are beautiful, really old-fashioned, soft, kind of tea party type cards. The suits have been changed, so the two of action would be the two of wands. A really beautiful, gentle, kind of old lady type deck. Choose freedom. This would be the devil. So it's all very positive and very, you know, very sweet and saccharine. 
but it's just a beautiful soft deck. Ace of Emotion. Sometimes you don't want a hard-hitting deck. Um, this is good when you're feeling a bit fragile, and I just think it's a beautiful deck. So once again, I think it's out of print now. He did create a new Guardian Angel deck, which he said was much more in his vision of Guardian Angels. But I think this, you know, shouldn't be discounted. It's a beautiful little deck, Four of Wands. So that's my other pink tarot card deck. And then this is the pink version of the Rider Waite, which is really cool, actually. I just got this one, King of Wands, and you can see everything is in shades of pink. So if you like a pink or you like the more monotone, there are just black and white um, copies of the Rider Waite cards. These are the pink copies, but I just felt like pink, and then this was a, a fun little new Rider Waite deck. So if you're a bit tired of your old Rider Waite, this is very inexpensive. I think it was like $9.99 on Amazon. I just thought it was kind of a fun, whimsical, bright pink deck. So you can see there's some really pretty pink decks out there. And then the last but not least are my um, Royal Tea, Tea Symbol Cards by Tea with Karen. And you can see they have rose, pink roses on them and teapots. So again, a very feminine, beautiful translation of the tea symbol and you've got the teapot here to remind you that these are tea cards moon the cat so those are my pink decks um, I'd love to see anyone else's pink decks if you have any pink decks you'd like to share maybe you could share them in the comments and I thought just for fun we would take a card off each of these decks, I, I believe this one had some cards I recently used. So let's go for this one. This is Magnify Your Intentions with Baby's Breath. This is a beautiful, it says, choose a specific goal to work towards. Well, I wanted to do readings with my pink decks. Your energy is special out among so many ideas. Please bring your focus Back to the key intention and let your angels help. Your Sorry, your energy is spread out among too many ideas. Please bring your focus back to the key intention and let your agents help, angels help. So I want to do my readings with pink decks this week. So that's what I'm going to do. Set my intention. Okay, let's see what our relationship with these pink decks is going to be like. We have the re relationship. Getting to know each other. There you go. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond develops. So we're going to get to know these pink decks over the next week or so. And understand the energy that the um, color pink brings. Of course, it's heart chakra. Love, uh, the feminine energy. Even if you're a man, you can go for pink because all men have a feminine side. So let's get an answer. Is this a good idea to use our pink deck? Success! There you go. We will be successful and enjoy our trip down pink lane. Let's see what the Rider Wake has to say. Is this a good path to follow this week? Aha, Knight of Pentacles. Take your time. Enjoy the trip. You've got plenty of tools, you planted plenty of seeds, so just carry on on your journey. I don't rush and get to know things. Take your time to study them. This is fun. Oh, this one wants to fall all over. It's very slippery, this deck. It's, it's very glossy. Okay, so what, um, what should we say for this nostalgic one? Um, how can this bring us, uh, liberate us from our patterns of the past? Two of action. Trust in your ability to make excellent choices. There's opportunity all around you if you just continue to move forward. It may be time to take on a new partner who can help you be a success in your career or creative endeavors. So there you go. I'm using my pink decks as my new partnership. 
for my readings this week. So there I am with my pink jet, having a little conversation. The Marseille Tarot, Mar Marshmallow Marseille. It's like, what will this pink deck make clear? Because it's just kind of a little... Ah, oh, again, the two of wands, same card we got. That there's more than one way to skin a cat, that you can pair up with some new energy. We've got some little pink flowers here. So that myself and my pink deck may create something new. So this is my intention to partner with my pink deck, and we have flower, pink flowers on it. And then we'll have the tea card reading. Okay, what's the symbol for our pink deck endeavor? The butterfly. Don't take it too seriously. We'll be flitting between deck, uh, one deck and another. Have some fun with it. Enjoy the moment. See it sparkle. So there you are. Now I did also have, um, I wanted to show you again my beautiful pink orb which is just such a calming, wonderful... I really recommend if you've only had smaller orbs, get a big one. You can hold this in your hand, and it just it's just a whole other experience. You just get this full, beautiful energy of the rose quartz, and it's so calming. But I also had, and I will be doing some charm readings with these, I have some of these casting sheets, which are pink which are from Tea with Karen. So this week I will also be doing some readings with these pink charm casting sheets. This one here is all about relationships. And this one is kind of a spirit board. It covers everything in life. It has some pink roses on it. So these are really another way uh, to use my pink things, my pink tools. So there you are, a little, a little journey down pink. So that was just kind of fun. Uh, if you do have some pink cards, I'd love to see them. Some other, I know there's some other pink tarot decks out there. Um, and let me know. So I will be using these cards for the next week or so until I really get sick of pink, I guess. <laughs> um, and just enjoy. It's a very light, beautiful, lovely cover color. Opens your heart, just softens everything up. So thank you for listening, and uh, stay tuned for some readings with pink. If you like these videos I make, please like and subscribe. It helps me to stay on the air and encourages me to know that you're interested in what I'm doing. So thanks so much. I'll be back soon with some pink card readings. Bye.